Darren Seven now, what a performance to start to finish today. Would you make it? Went to start, man. It's just amazing. Uh, football from start to finish was just brilliant. We pressed them straight away and got an early goal, and I think that sort of killed any game plan that St Johnston had to come here away. And you know, the game just got better as we went on. Rio Hatate got us after a perfect start, and I thought it was energetic right for the goal. Even the whole of midfield, everybody just looked up for it today. And for, for the whole team to put it at, if, and I, I just said that after last week, there was a chance of a banana skin here. And I just say, as long as we get three points today, I'd be happy. But a performance like that was amazing. I heard the manager say recently in a few press conferences that he wants to play his best football at the end of the season. And that must be true. Like, that's definitely our best performance of the season. I felt bad for St Johnston today. It was, it, it was men against boys. I were brilliant. You, you talked about Hatati there. He looked much more like himself today, didn't he? I thought he was really, really good in that first half. Came off quite early in the second, but I thought his running was brilliant. He took his goal really well. Yeah, yeah. He's obviously not had uh, a goal since he took here at, against Rangers, and I think that's maybe what he's what he's needed a goal to get his confidence back again. Uh, I know he, I mean, when he he's been playing bad, but he's, he's formed a dip a wee bit, so it's good to see him back playing like that again. Um, he has a heart at midfield. He's got so much energy he brings to the team. We've got guys like Tom Rogic and O'Reilly and Turnbull who maybe don't have that uh, like pace and, and stamina that he does. So he's such an integral part of the team. And when he's playing like that, you know, you can't uh, feel bad for the opposing team. Do you know what I mean? There's been a bit of talk this season about second half drop offs. We've, we've started first halves brilliantly for most of the season. There was certainly no second half drop off today. I thought the intensity throughout the game. Again, in that second half, we just kicked on. Yeah, when you've got subs to bring on, like Matt O'Reilly and, and Kyogo coming back, uh, David Turnbull coming on, uh, the five subs, I, I, I really like this, the whole, the whole five subs thing. And I think other managers have said that it benefits Celtic more than it benefits them. And I, I don't care, to be honest, because it does benefit us. And we're, we are, we're playing so well. I mean, players are getting tired because it has happened, Like because we play at such an intense rate, for, for especially first half and getting the second half. Players will tire. You saw it against Rangers last week. I mean, you know, Rio Hattati was dead on his arse after 60 minutes and, and we brought in the likes of David Turnbull and that just, that's, that's, that's football, you need to take half players who are tired to, that's what you call a, a good manager doing his job, so uh, when you're playing well with his second half, so that, I mean, that's that's what you want. Absolutely, as you say, this this squad strength now is, is there for everybody to see, Jackie Marcus did get injured today but um, Matt O'Reilly came on the second half for, for Tom Rogic, scored two brilliant goals, he looks like a great signing for us. Oh man, just... I love watching him, honestly. Amazing. 45 minutes there, and I, I would probably, I'll get, I probably will say he's my man of the match, honestly. Like, even if he didn't score those two goals, he's just he's so comfortable on the ball and he can pick a pass out anywhere. But he just looks so effortless as well. He's, he's very like Tom Rogic, but obviously he's only like 21. So he's still a young guy, man. He's just, I love watching him, and I think he's, he's got such a good future. He's only going to get better, I think. And I, we just spoke there before, get on that he needed goals because it's one thing that has been lacking his goals. So two, two goals for him a day, all day, and we were good. Two excellent goals as well. Uh, nine points clear. A great day for the goal difference again. I think that's probably 21 or 22 ahead now. So in a great position, and again, just applying that pressure uh, for them tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, going into a split as well. I think that's six, six games left with nine points. Obviously, right. five points. Uh, five games, sorry, um, and they've obviously got game in Mora, so the pressure is on them. I, I really can't see us even dropping any more points this season. If we play even half as good as that, like, who's going to beat us? We are miles better than any other team in this league. Um, I like, I don't, obviously, I'd, I'm not going to sit here and say League's one, it's definitely not. Complacency can always kick in, but if we even play half as good as that, you know, we're, we're going in the right direction, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So many good individual performances. You mentioned Riley, maybe for man of the match, is that who you're going with? Can I say everybody? <laughs> Honestly, it uh, was uh, such a good team performance as well. Like, I think the attitude from it, the attitude as well, not even just performance, the attitude looks so great. Even at 7 0, pressing for 8, 9, it could, it could have been 10 if we took our chances at the end. But I think O'Reilly is just, he's, he's a special talent and to, to only play 45 minutes in that game. But special shout out to Dyson Maeda as well. Like, just, oh, he's, he's getting better and better every game as well. Like, there's a few question marks about him a month or two ago but I think every, he's just starting to settle into Scottish football now and he, again getting better and better every game but today I'm going to get to Matt O'Reilly I just I enjoyed that so much for him today.